All right, thanks for joining us on Fox 10 Facebook Live. We're here in the uh, Fox 10 News studio. Uh, Lee Peck here. We just got back from Washington County uh, where we were surveying some storm damage. Uh, we can't say for sure if it was a tornado, but there was definitely a tornado warning there earlier this afternoon, just before two o'clock and some significant damage. Now we were actually on our way uh, up to Chatham. We were going to go just south of Chatham. We were on Highway 43 heading that direction when we got the call. They diverted us to to, uh, the Calvert area where this damage was uh, being reported by a viewer. And as we got off uh, 43 on Fairford Road, we traveled about eight miles down the road and you could start to see uh, the, the trees that were snapped. Uh, you can see some damage here. This is actually uh, the worst of the damage when we got on the scene near uh, Sims Chapel Holiness Church on Fairford Street. When we got out, we ran into uh, Washington County Sheriff Richard Stringer who uh, gave us uh, a walking tour of the worst of the damage in the area. Let's take a look at that. Now, where are we at right now? Well, you're in, uh, this is considered the, give me a minute, Sam's Chapel area. Okay. Sam's Chapel, Fairford Road, right off of Sam's Chapel. Uh, well, in Sam's Chapel, Fairford Road, Sam's Chapel. Reports of uh, damage out here right before uh, about two, right before two o'clock. That's correct. We started having some other damage in the more northern part of the county, but uh, this being the most severe of, of the two storms that touched down. We saw some trees that were snapped up the road a little bit. Uh, you're telling me this is the, from what you guys have had reports of, this is the worst of the damage? Absolutely it is. Anyone it's, injured? Any reports of injuries? We have no reports of anyone being injured at this time. You guys were probably watching the reports like we were. Everybody was kind of just uh, on standby for whatever could come about. That's correct. We were all standing by. Several of the sheriff deputies were standing by, and some were actually out on the road uh, trying to uh, observe and see if they seen anything prior to this thing hitting and getting in the areas, securely getting in the area where it was going to hit or we thought it was going to hit and station themselves to where they would be safe so they could respond immediately. Yeah, the severe weather is always a tricky thing to not only uh, forecast, but also to just to respond to. That's right. You always got debris in the roads and uh, water was everywhere. I know I got sideways. I hit a big pocket of water and I uh, got sideways coming to this scene. But uh, yeah, it's always dangerous for your rush first responders to try to come out and uh, react to these these situations. I know that they were talking about a uh, tornado warning, uh, and obviously the, the weather service people have to come out here and you know see what they can find out, but uh, what, from what you guys have heard from the people on the scene, what have they told you it sounded like? Well, as always, it sounds like a train. We'll have some witnesses over here that uh, one of the gentlemen who lives over here actually laid down on the porch, and he saw this this trailer. This is This was a camper. That camper was located uh, you see the stump? Mm -hmm. Okay, that camper was located down next to that stump, and he said it went up in the air. He, he said 40 feet, but I don't know how far it was, and just started flipping and, and come into that big oak tree, and it just crashed it. Tore it up? Yeah, tore it all to pieces. And, of course, these trees were in the road. One good thing about this community, they come together like, like any other community. They come together. You hear chainsaws running, and folks are working to try to get... It fixed the best they can for the time being. So work is already underway to kind of get it back to normal where people and can get in and out. That's right, and secure the homes to where if we get more rain, it, they won't leak. Okay. Let's walk on around sure. and look at some of the damage. This is, uh, God forbid anybody had been in there. Oh, absolutely. More, more damage. This is, uh, and as you can see through the tree lines where the storm broke large oak trees over, uh, and, and, and it's hard to get to at this time, but on over in that direction, you'll see the same type damage that you're looking at here. It's just like a, it, you could clearly tell the path it took. Absolutely, yes. Yes, and, and there was a good warning prior to this happening. I mean, I think, I think you guys and, and maybe the other stations were very good in tracking this. If people would just pay attention 
and heed the warning. How important is that for people to, you know, uh, be prepared? With hurricanes, we have days to prepare, but for tornadic action uh, and tornado warnings, you really have to be on it uh, and up to date and just pay attention. Absolutely, absolutely. You got to monitor your weather stations, and uh, had people been doing that, and apparently they were, because we had, to our knowledge, no injuries. Uh, I know personally, I live in Washington County, and and I somewhat got prepared for this also. And as soon as it was over, I jumped in my patrol car and headed this way. Yeah. It seems like you have a good response out here. People, like you said, already at work. They are. And you can see, if you walk a little further, you can even see more damage. But, you know, that's what you see every time you have one of these things. It's, it's pretty much anywhere that you go and you have a tornado, this is what you're going to get. So I encourage folks to take the warning, pay attention to your news media and uh, prepare for it because when they tell you it's coming it's usually coming yeah and know where to really go just uh find the like you tell us you know find a, a hall a bathroom take cover mm -hmm. And that right there, again, Washington County Sheriff Richard Stringer giving us a walking tour of the worst damage there off of Fairford uh, Road there off of Highway 43. That was the unedited version. We had to do it this way. Uh, we really couldn't do a Facebook Live out there because our cell service was so uh, it was lacking. We just didn't have any uh, service out there to, to kind of bring you that live. So we wanted to show you uh, what we could before we start working on the story for nine o'clock. Now you heard him describe uh, a homeowner there who saw that camper lifted off the ground, thrown into a tree, and you saw it was just smashed to bits. We got some better shots of that, but we also have an interview with that man who saw it firsthand. He said he didn't have time to take cover. He was on the porch when he heard it coming. He got down and he looked over and that's when he saw that trailer lifted up and just thrown across the lawn, smashed to bits. Also, uh, probably up the road from there, there's a nearby church, Sims Chapel Holiness Church. That took on some significant damage too. There was a woman and some children who actually uh, took shelter in that church. They live in a mobile home across the street and uh, they, they end up going to the church and taking shelter in the center of the church in a hallway. She described uh, the suction uh, as the, the, the storm passed over as just incredible. It, it was so incredible that it actually uh, took one of the doors off the interior of the church, completely ripped it off the hinges. We'll have video of that and you'll also hear her account of those terrifying moments. But I think the uh, the thing to take away here is that people heeded the storm warnings uh, from Fox 10 as they, they went out, they got into their, their, their preparedness mode, and luckily there were no reports of injuries. Again, we're gonna have a full uh, recap of all this coming up tonight on Fox 10 News at nine. For now, thanks for watching Lee Peck, Fox 10 News.